Exercise is beneficial for many different reasons. However, it might surprise you that it is so beneficial that it is used in the treatment of depression. First, we need to know what happens to the brain when we exercise. When you start to exercise, the brain recognises this as a moment of stress. As your blood pressure gets higher, the brain thinks that you are either running from or fighting an enemy. So to protect itself from stressing too much, the brain releases a protein called brain-derived euphoric factor, or BNDF for short. This protein acts like a reset switch to your memory neurons. But the scary part is that these chemicals can be as addictive as drugs. The only difference is that exercise is actually good for you. Now we still haven't explained how all this helps combat depression. After many studies done by scientists, it has been found that exercise is the same to the brain as antidepressants. The chemicals in the brain work much like cars at an intersection controlled by traffic lights. If the traffic lights stop working, the cars get backed up and out of balance. This is what can happen to the chemicals in your brain and is where depression can occur. Think of the endorphins as policemen that direct cars at broken traffic lights. Policemen help get the traffic flowing again and keeps it balanced. However, it doesn't fix the problem completely. The best type of exercise for helping with depression is anything that gets you up and moving. It doesn't have to be very intensive activity because any physical activity can help.